Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. These are the famous words of none other than Albert Einstein. Warren Buffett, the most successful investor of all time, would go on to say, My wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. So, in today's video, we tell you just what compounding is, as well as how you can leverage compounding to become rich through these nine assets. So, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, and buckle up as we dive into the video. So, what is compounding? Compounding is a powerful concept in investing, where you earn interest on your investment, as well as on the interest you've previously earned. So, say you invested $1,000 on a security that earns 10% per annum. In one year, you should have $1,100, which is the $1,000 you had at the start, plus the $100 you've just earned. If you don't withdraw your returns, your principal for year two will be $1,100, and your interest will have increased to $110. As the years go by, your principal and consequently, interest continue to balloon. And before you know it, you will have doubled, tripled, and multiple times your investment. A quick way to know how fast your money will compound is using the rule of 72. Basically, you divide 72 with the projected rate of return to get the number of years it will take to double. The trick with compounding is to leave your returns alone. That said, what assets actually compound? 1. High Yield Savings Accounts A high yield savings account is a type of savings account that typically offers a higher interest rate compared to the traditional savings accounts most people are used to. Usually, it is provided by banks or other financial institutions to attract people who desire to save but want a better return on their savings. According to the latest bank rate data, the national average yield for savings accounts is 0.57% APY. In comparison, the most conservative high yield savings account can give you 4.5% AP. Now, aside from the comparatively higher yield, investors love high yield savings accounts because they are pretty safe, very liquid, and have no minimum deposit. But best of all, they compound. That means you earn interest on interest until you decide to withdraw your investment. Now, while a high yield savings account may not be the best earning investment in the market, it's great for stabilizing your portfolio or storing your emergency fund. 2. Certificates of Deposit CDs. Next up, we have one of the best compounding instruments in the market. Certificates of deposits are financial instruments offered by banks and credit unions that allow investors to deposit money for a fixed period of time at a given interest rate. CDs are time-bound. If you want to avoid penalties, including forfeiting your returns, you must allow the CD to mature. In short, you don't want to withdraw it. The interest rates you earn on your CDs is usually fixed, meaning they remain constant throughout the CD's term. Talking about interest rates, the interest earned on a certificate of deposit is typically paid out in different ways, depending on the institution's terms. This can be monthly, quarterly, or annually. With some CDs, the interest is compounded and paid at the end of the term, together with the deposit. Now, something worth noting about CDs is that they come with automatic renewal. This means that if you don't do anything about your CD by maturity, it's automatically renewed for another term. This means it will continue compounding until you withdraw. 3. Money Market Accounts A money market account, popularly known as an MMA, is yet another interest-bearing deposit account offered by financial institutions. You could say that a money market account combines everything to love about a savings account and a certificate of deposit. Like a savings account, a money market account gives you liquidity. However, there are restrictions as to how many withdrawals you can make within a set amount of time, after which the repercussions are quite similar to a CD. As for interest, it compounds daily with payouts every month. Combine that with the tiered interest structure, where you earn more the more money you have, and you can grow your wealth quickly. 4. Individual Retirement Accounts IRAs. Don't simply retire from something, have something to retire to. Harry Emerson Fostick. If not for anything else, you want to invest so that you can retire comfortably. Now, to invest for your retirement, you need what's known as an Individual Retirement Account, or IRA. An IRA is a tax-advantaged personal savings and investment account. The money you invest in an IRA can grow tax-free or tax-deferred, 
depending on the type of account, and is typically invested in mutual funds, S&P 500 funds, bond funds, and REITs. There are different types of IRAs, each with a slight difference. And you can open one with a bank, online brokerage, robo-advisor, credit union, or insurance agency. IRAs are exceptionally great for compounding, as you can't withdraw from your account until retirement. Unless, of course, you want to pay penalties. So, depending on whether you start your account in your 20s or 30s, you have three to four decades of uninterrupted growth. Even if you don't contribute so much every year, compounding is going to do the magic for you. 5. Savings Bonds Another great compounding asset is bonds. Basically, a bond is a debt you give to the government or a large corporation. Like a typical loan, it has a maturity period as well as interest. Now, savings bonds typically compound semi-annually. This means that every six-month interest is added to the principal. The next time that interest is due, which is after another six months, it's awarded on the new principal. That is what you already had, plus the previously earned interest. That said, it's important to keep in mind that not all bonds compound. For government bonds, only saving bonds earn compound interest. For corporate bonds, things may vary depending on the company. So, do your research before you invest. 6. Dividend Stocks If your goal is to earn a regular income from your investments, dividend stocks are no doubt a top choice. A dividend stock makes you money in two ways. One is through stock share price appreciation, where you realize your gains when you sell your stock for a profit. And two, from dividends, which is a share of the annual company profits. You get dividends without selling your shares. Depending on the specific stock, dividends can be paid monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. So, how exactly do dividend stocks compound? If you're looking to grow your wealth through dividend investing, then you need what's known as a Dividend Reinvestment Plan, or DRIP. With this plan, your dividend proceeds are automatically used to purchase more company shares. This way, you accumulate more shares, and those shares then earn you even more dividends. You reinvest that into even more shares, and the cycle continues. That said, are there dividend stocks you swear by? Share with us in the comments, and if you're enjoying the video, like it. 7. Exchange Traded Funds ETFs. We all know that the stock market can be volatile. For instance, in March 2020, stock prices crashed massively as the world battled the COVID-19 pandemic. While the markets have since started to recover, they are yet to reach the pre-pandemic figures. That said, ETFs are a great way to gain exposure to the stock market with a much lower risk. That's because instead of investing in one stock, your investment is spread across hundreds of stocks, bonds, and other assets. So if one or a couple of stocks were to fall, the losses you'd experience would be much lower. Now ETFs don't typically generate compound interest. However, you get compounding growth when you reinvest your returns, typically paid as dividends, back to the fund. For instance, if you invest $10,000 in an ETF and it gives you 10% growth in the first year, you can reinvest that return so that your investment is now worth $11,000. The easiest way to compound with this type asset is to invest in an accumulating ETF, which doesn't pay dividends, but rather reinvest them automatically. 8. Mutual Funds Mutual funds work more or less the same as ETFs. Money is pooled from different investors and invested in a variety of stock market securities. However, mutual funds are bought and sold at the end of the trading day and are managed by a fund manager, whereas ETFs trade throughout the day like stocks and are passively managed. With that in mind, mutual funds don't earn a regular fixed interest that compounds. However, they do give you compound growth. Basically, the more you invest in the fund and the longer you let it sit, the more compounding you get. You can accelerate this further by reinvesting your dividends and distributions. Nine. Real Estate Investment Trusts REITs. Lastly, we have one of the best, most stable investments you can have in your portfolio. REITs buy rental properties and sell them as shares to interested investors. In return, investors earn rental income as dividends, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. Now, REITs must pay 90% of the rental income collected to investors. This means most high yield, REITs actually pay out a pretty decent dividend yield that is anywhere between 15% to an incredible 25%. And by reinvesting that back for more REIT shares, you can grow your stake and wealth. So, what investments are you ready to add to your portfolio to compound your wealth this year?
Drop your comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, like and share with a friend. For more insights like this, subscribe and ring the notifications bell. With that, we end today's video. Thanks for watching.